Hello, what's up, what's up, and welcome back to the channel, and today we are back with Florida A&M, the Rattlers, win Division One football, okay, we're trying to turn this team into a household name, into a program that everybody knows, and they either love us, or they hate us, alright, so we're going to be wrapping up the season, we have four games, first game is going to be versus Air Force, second game is going to be versus, um, who is it, who is it, who is it, who is it, Jackson State, then we're going to be taking on NC State, and then of course we finish up the year with Bethune Cookman, alright, so NC State, we might get our, he our, our, our heads kicked in a little bit, okay, our butts handed to us, that's alright, I want to see how we play versus different competition, um, if you want, you can let me know who you want to want us to play next season because we're going to do the off season and jump straight into the season in one long video for our next episode. I'm just warning you, it was going to be long. So I hope you got your popcorn. This video kind of long. Hope you got your popcorn, right? Anyways, though, we got to be Air Force, got to be Jackson State, got to be Cookman. NC State we might get, again, I'm just warning you, we might. Now, again, I might pull an upset too. You never know. But we got to win these three games that I mentioned. So we have a chance at the bowl game. We could win six games, and that might get it done. But I'm thinking, looking at everybody's record around the country, seven games, seven wins might be the magic number. So second down and six on that ball with Pickens. And Pickens is not going to pick up what I need him to. So third down and two. Chambers looking downfield, letting that thing fly. And that pass is going to sadly fall incomplete. So fourth down, we're going to roll the dice, baby. And we're coming up seven. We pick up around seven yards. Larry, though, he is hurt, and that's a big loss for us. He is clearly our best weapon at receiver, even though our receiving core is special. Richards, he makes the catch in traffic, and we're inside the 10 just like that. Second down and goal, going right up the gut, and Pickens is in the end zone. Touchdown, F-A-M-U. I ain't going to be saying that too much. Florida A&M. They get in there, and that's what I need my offense to do. Can my defense answer the call? They're going to run the ball with Ward, and Ward gets upfield. Third down and four. They're going to run the halfback option, and Ward, he receives the pitch, and he's going to pick up the first down by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. And then Robertson off of the edge, laying the smack down upon your forehead. This head stick, and that's targeting today. Anyway, second down and 11. Looking downfield, that pass, that's going to be caught. Do they call it? Yeah, I guess that will be targeting. Anyways, third down and two. They're going to run the ball, and Robertson is there again. Four tackles already here in the first quarter of play. So we take over, first down and ten. Chambers looking downfield. Let's a fly. Johnson, a big tight end, makes the catch in traffic. Beautiful play, and that's going to bring the first quarter to an end. So start of the second quarter, we got the football still. Second down and ten. Out route. Richards makes the catch. This receiving core is staying intact. When you looked at who we went after recruiting, we only went after one receiver. He did not want to come here. Too much competition on the roster. I understand it. Second down and 12. Looking downfield. Chambers is going to get sacked. But we do have a quarterback that we still have a chance to get. And that will be a big time signing for this small program that we're building up into a power. Chambers like, yo, recruit some linemen. Okay, for the next quarterback, recruit some linemen, please. Morris on the punt return. Robinson also be playing special teams because we thin, baby. We thin. He out there causing havoc. So third down and three, we're going to find Wise right up the seam. That was a wise play call. He has good hands like Allstate, and we move the ball closer to the end zone, and Richards makes the catch. He's going to cross the goal line, and we're up 14 to not a darn thing. Play fake. Henry throws it quickly. Williams, he makes the catch. He gets upfield, and Williams is going to have Air Force looking pretty with another fresh set of 10. They go up the gut with Ward. Again gets brought down after he gets upfield for the tune of five yards. They give it to Ward again. The blocking was perfect and the speed in our secondary non-existent. Touchdown Ward. Touchdown Air Force and they're not going down without a fight. Looking downfield. That pass caught by Johnson. Turns upfield after the catch. Works his way for a first down. Pickens. Look at the blocking. Weaving through traffic as well. Picks up the first down. Barely. First down and 10. Direct snap to him. Breaks the tackle. Still on his feet and dropped just shy of that first down marker. So third down and one. We have to come through. Wise is open. 
He's our fifth string receiver, but with the injury to Lowry, he is now thrust into our top four. And the way that we spread teams out, he might get a bunch of looks moving forward. Pickens makes a man miss. Pickens reading his blocks in the blocking downfield was perfect by these receivers that are much known for their passing and catching abilities. Richards, he makes the catch right there. We're inside the 10. Now it's going to be third and goal from the one. Y'all line and Chambers is in the end zone. We're up by 14 yet again. 21 to 7 is the score. Good guys on top. Now Air Force has 17 seconds to work with and they know what to do with it. They're going to throw that thing upfield. That's going to be caught and Air Force is inside our territory. 10 seconds ago they throw it. That's going to be caught by Hendricks and just like that they're in field goal range. Kick is up and the kick is good. Defense definitely dropped the ball right there but we still have a two possession lead. Chambers looking downfield, throwing it. Paul Durfee makes the catch, and we're inside their territory with one flick of the wrist. Second down and 10. Chambers under some pressure, and the pressure throws a bad pass. And even though my receiving core is the best, the speed is lacking. Freeman races to the end zone. Nobody's going to ca catch him. And now it's just a four point game. Pickens up the gut, has enough for the first down. Chambers. Under some pressure, breaks one tackle, throws it, but they rule it a fumble, and that's going to be a scoop and score, and just like that, we are now losing this ball game. We were up by 14, now we're down by three in less than a matter of minutes. Pickens, right up the gut, north and south, great blocking by the big fellas. Give the ball to Filler, he's trying to turn the corner, he can't do it, he gets blasted in the backfield. Second down and 11, Chambers is rolling out, stops, pops. And it's dropped by Wise. So third down and left. We are in a tough situation right here. Can we come through? Looking down. Feel perfect pass to Richards. The route running ability, the precision passing of this offense is top notch. But can we score on this drive is the bigger question. Third down and seven. Looking down. Feel going to throw that thing to Johnson and the big tight And whenever he catches the football, it seems like he's falling forward and picking up the necessary yards to keep the drive alive. Throwing that thing to Pickens. Makes one man miss. Makes another man miss. Then takes a shot to the chops, but has a first down in the process. Second down and four. And Richardson can't hold on to that touchdown pass. Third down and four. Chambers rolling out. Trying to buy all kinds of time. Runs out of it quickly. That's going to be a sack. Are we still in field goal range? Hopefully we are. The kick is up. And the kick is going to be good. So... It's 24-24. Not the best scenario to be in right now, but we still have a chance to win this ball game. Right now, Air Force for the rest of their season is playing spoiler at one and what? One and six, one and seven, one and eight. I don't know. But it's one and not a good record on the other side. So second down and twelve. Williams just got enough for the takedown, but Ward is loose. Gonna power through a tackle and gets dropped after he has enough for a fresh set at 10. They get the ball to Ward again. Powers through Robertson just a little bit. And now they're going to go with the end around to work because out of that flex bone, wishbone formation, a lot of things can go their way. So start of the third quarter now. Third down and four, and the defense is all over it. Taylor's in there for the stop. They're going to go for it. The QB's going to run, and Henry makes a man miss, and he's going to fall for it as he gets tackled for the first down. So their drive shall continue. Looking downfield and that pass will fall and complete on third down. Making the fourth down. The kick is up and the kick is going to be good. So the defense does hold. We're down by three. Chambers looking downfield. Throws it on time and on target. The Lewis loses the football. But he does have enough for the first down as the ball rolls out of bounds. Third down. Looking downfield and we overthrow our target. And now we have to punt it, and they got some trickery as they go with the end around on the punt return. And Lee is loose, and Fuller, our backup tailback, is there to push him out of bounds. So we still have some hope. They run the ball with Ward, and Ward is loose. Gets brought down by Gilliam, and that leads to a first down. Air Force is on the move again. Henry is loose, and Henry's going to take it to the crib. Untouched. Only bounce it to his own blocker. And then Sims is going to fumble it. And that is going to spell disaster for us. 37-30. When we would drive down the score, but it would be too little too late. And that is the number two greatest game in my profile. But, man, it comes at the hands of a loss. So, we got sacked five times. Got to get more pressure on the opposing team's quarterback. 
And we got to protect the football. We had three turnovers. Air Force just the one. Got to do a better job there. And, yeah, you see the result, man. We are now looking at a 4-5 and five record. Not a good look. Chambers did his thing. Pickens did his thing as well. We just couldn't get enough points in the ball. We were able to move the ball through the 20s. But when, once we got inside the 20s, things went a little bit south. And then, of course, the turnovers did not help. But our next game is going to be Jackson State. They are winless so far this season. So hopefully we can chalk this up to be a win. But you never know. You never know, and we have we have to win now if we want to uh, if we want to have at least a chance, a shot, again to a bowl game because again number twenty three NC State they're 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 lurking, all right eight and one Wolfpack they could be a problem for us. So we still have a shot at two cornerbacks and a quarterback, and those right now be the only guys that we can get to sign on the dotted line. So here we go, Jackson State, Florida A and M first pass play of the game to Kelly, and that pass will be completed for a first down we need we need to stop right here looking downfield and we're gonna get that stop we are sending blitzes i was like if we're gonna play conservative and still get beat we might as well blitz the quarterback and maybe this might be the team to take advantage of that we run the ball pickens picks up around six looking downfield johnson coming through when i need him to the big tight end is a security blanket Pickens to the left side, trying to make a man miss. Can't quite do it, but falls forward for a gain of nine. Third and it's Give it to the big fullback, Ward, and he's going to have himself a first down. Second down and five. Give it to Pickens, and let's just run the ball. We can score quickly, obviously. We have a quick strike offense. We spread teams out, but this game, the game plan for this game, run the ball, sit on the clock as much as possible. Do not give this team a chance to beat up on my secondary because the secondary is the worst position group on this team. Lewis, he makes the catch, and he will get into the end zone right there. Touchdown, Florida A&M, and Jackson State is now looking up at a seven-point deficit. Kelly makes the catch. Can't quite get upfield, though, and maybe the blitz is forcing quicker passes. That's throwing off the timing. So Pickens, he gets the carry. Gets to the outside, and he's going to have himself a first down. Pickens to the right side again, and Pickens makes a man miss. Not going to have enough for the first down, and that's going to bring the first quarter to an end. So third down and two. Can we connect the dots right here and keep the drive alive? When you got a tie in like Johnson, anything is possible. He's a little bit of a mismatch out there with the defenders picking him up in the second day. Or maybe it's a linebacker. Pickens, north and south, has enough for the first down. Blocking from the O-line, pretty, pretty good. We did lose our guard. Don't worry, he's on like 44 overall. So he's not like a huge loss, but it's still a loss. Third down and four. Chambers looking downfield. That pass will fall incomplete. So bring on the kick team. The kick is up. And the kick is going to be good. So Jackson State is now down by 10. We send a blitz. We missed a chance at a sack, but we do force an incompletion. Holding on them, we would decline it, and we force another three. And now third down and five. Chambers looking. Johnson catching it, and that's going to be a first down. Just go to the big tight end when you need something good to happen. Taking a shot deep downfield. Lowry, he makes the catch. That's going to be a gain around 13, maybe 14. Chambers looking, find it to Richards, who has to come back to the football, gets dropped, and that's going to be a gain of nine. Minute 02 on the clock, play fake, looking, still looking. Richards is in traffic. We throw it anyway, and that's going to be the first mistake of the ball game, and that's going to end the first half of play. So that interception in the first half didn't hurt us at all. We take over to kick off the second half, and here we go. Pickens on the screen pass. He's going to work his way upfield, and that's going to be a first down. Chambers looking to throw on third down and five. Looking for Paul, who can't hang on to that one. And now it's going to be fourth and five, and we're going to go for win their territory. Why not? Looking downfield, and that's going to be overthrown. Intercepted by Green, and I guess that can turn into a punt. And again, another interception, another turnover. We're going to send another blitz. And whenever they run the ball, we have linebackers. We have safeties just waiting for them. Third down and 10, we send another blitz. The protection is pretty good, but the pass was not at all. So we take over. Second down and 10, and we force another three. Now, Pickens runs a man over, gets loose, and he's going to work his way upfield for another first down. Give it to Fuller, and Fuller. Head of steam, good lane, and he maneuvers his way upfield for a first down for the Rattlers. For the AM on the move again. Chambers to Johnson, and Johnson gets into the end zone. 
touchdown Rattlers and here we go up 17 to nothing gonna give that thing to Pickens breaks a tackle and he gets into the end zone touch down and that's gonna give us a 24 nothing lead now it's 31 to nothing fumble on the play and Robertson is like no mercy 40 50 not a white jersey in sight and he's gonna take that thing to the crib scoop and score and the final is 37 to nothing we put hands on jackson state much better game for us but we still had two turnovers got three sacks on their quarterback they did not touch our quarterback at all able to convert on third down really not face too many third downs either only had to face eight of those things chambers he completed around 58 percent of his passes which is a little bit low for him but again we kind of changed up the game plan so maybe he wasn't able to get into that great of a rhythm um, we wanted to run the ball a lot more, sit on the ball. I usually like to get in and out of the huddle quickly. Didn't do that this game. Wanted to make sure that, that we got a win. Wasn't too concerned about style points. And, yeah, hopefully, 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 if we win versus NC State and we beat Bethune-Cookman, we can get into a bowl game. All right? So, here we go. Campbell from North Carolina. He is coming to town. He committed to Florida A&M. Four-star recruit. The man speed, stupid. Runs a 4 240 backwards. And that's important for a cornerback, you know, to get that back pedal right. So we're losing some points with the quarterback, Washington. Hopefully we can get him to sign on the line. He's looking at Florida and Florida State, two of the powerhouses of this state. Of course, Miami Hurricanes, they're in that as well. But Florida right now is ranked number one. Florida State is ranked number 10, I want to say. Or make that number 12 right there. So Florida State actually just beat NC State. Well, not just beat, but that's one of the losses. They did just lose to, who is it? Who is it? Right there, Clemson. They lost to Clemson. Next week, they're going to be taking on North Carolina and then us. They will beat North Carolina. So they're sitting at 9-2, and two, ranked number 27 in the nation. Let's get right down to business. Big game. Biggest game on the schedule, if you ask me. We can get an upset here. I will be a very, very happy man, but we know our defense is bad. And when your defense is bad, your special teams is going to be worse. Lawson, 30, 20, 10, high stepping on us like another another number two used to do in the ACC. I ain't liking that. That's straight disrespectful. Looking downfield for the homie. Paul makes the catch, gets loose, hangs on to the strip attempt, and he's like, give me that first down, sir. Chambers rolling out. Still rolling, and Richards comes back to the football. He maneuvers for that football. Then he fumbles the football, but it goes out of bounds. No harm, no foul. Then the pressure gets to us. Sack on the play. Loss of seven. Play fake. Second down and 17. Richards going up top for that football. That's what I'm talking about. Receiver that's not afraid to expose those ribs over the middle. I'm loving it. Richards, he's not going to catch it to the pass. It was thrown to Richards. But Lowry is there. And sometimes you need the ball to just to bounce your way metaphorically. You know what I'm saying? So look at the arrow. I'm trying to kick this thing out of bounds. Not only does it not go out of bounds, it goes that totally the opposite way of my kick coverage. And Lawson is loose. And you ain't going to catch number two. Ten, five, high step one more time on your head. Wolf packs are just howling and we are in trouble. So 14 to seven. Because I want to I wanna try blitzing. Is blitzing going to work versus a high-powered offense? I don't know because my defense has not been on the field quite yet. Richards takes a nasty hit, not able to hang on to that football. Third down, Chambers rolling out, throwing it, and then Lewis, he makes the catch and went in Wolfpack territory just like that. Under some pressure, they send a blitz. Got to throw it to the hot route. Didn't do it. And now it's third down and 17. They get some more pressure. Chambers trying to make something happen. It's going to run and run out of bounds. And now what can the Wolf Pack do? We're going to be sending blitzes at this team all day long. Hopefully it works in our favor. We stop the ground game right there. But they do pick up five. Second down and five. They give it to him again. We stop him before he gets to the first down marker. So third down and two. We blitz again. But they are able to pick up the first down by the skin of their teeth. Second down and three. Play fake. Taking a shot deep. And that's going to be caught by Thornton. And we ain't got the speed to catch him. Touchdown. Wolfpack 21 to 7 is now the score. We are in some trouble. Chambers trying to make something happen. Dives forward and picks up four. Second down and six. Looking down through this Chambers throws it. And that pass will be dropped by Paul Durfee. And I need him to catch that ball. Police. 
Looking downfield one more time on third down, and that's a mistake. Don't throw it at the impact corner on the street route when your receiver ain't got the speed to blow past it. That's just rule number one. Taking the shot over the middle, caught by Thornton. Playing or blitzing and playing man coverage might not be the look. Might have to blitz and play zone or just play zone. We got to figure something out because this game is getting out of hand and getting out of reach. Looking downfield for the homie Wise. He makes the catch and looks to have enough for the first down, but they hate him. So second down and one. Looking downfield. Looking, still looking, still looking. Now he's going to tuck it and run it and picks up the first down. And that's going to do it for the first quarter of play. So Chambers dropping back the pass, rolling out. He's still rolling. Now he's going to tuck it and run. And he's going to pick up the first down by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. Second down and nine. Send up a screen pass. Got to throw it. Got to throw it. We did not throw it. We get sacked yet again. Chambers. Looking downfield, he gets hit as lets it fly, and it was still a perfect pass. A marvelous missile, a Dawkins dime. Throwing that thing, a straight dot. Lowry, he makes the catch, and he's going to get upfield. Gain of nine, second and inches. Looking over the middle, we're going to throw it, and we overthrow everybody. And the mama Chambers got smacked, and it's third in inches. Going right up the gut with Pickens. Can he pick up the first down? He does barely. But hey, a first down's a first down nonetheless. Looking down, Phil, are we going to run it again? Are we going to stop? We're going to pop. We're going to find Lowry who gets us up to the five-yard line. We have got the score right here. Pickens says, get off of me. Touchdown, Florida A&M. We ain't going down without a fight. We know what time it is, baby. We know where we at, and we know what we got to do. Looking down, Phil, that pass caught, and one step upfield, and he's gone. And that time I played coverage. We dropped people back. And yes, I missed the tackle. But goodness gracious, man. He's he's stupid fast. 35 to 14 is the score. Looking downfield, maneuvering behind the line of scrimmage, and then running for about four, maybe five yards. Second down and six. Looking downfield. We got Paul. He's gonna make the catch yet again. We gotta get some more plays like that. We gotta be more explosive in this game today. Looking for Lewis. He makes the catch, and that's going to lead to a first down. The Rattlers are on the move. Third down and eight. Chambers. Look it. That's going to be caught. Durfee makes another catch, and that's going to be another first down. Can we keep this going? Chambers could tuck it and run if he wants to. He does. Crosses the 10, slides down inside the 10 with a first down. First and goal. Looking down. Field right over the linebacker's head to the homie Pickens, and it's 35 to 21. Two minutes to go, they give the ball to Norton, and Norton gets smacked by Taylor, but has enough for a first down. We send a blitz, can't quite get home. We miss the QB, the QB does not miss his throw to Thornton, that, that's another first down. They run it at Robertson, we're there for the stop, chilling in your backfield. Third down and eight, that pass will fall incomplete, and we take over with about a minute on the clock. Chambers, looking downfield, throws it, Caught by Richards, this man is a beast. For him to be my second receiver, it's just, it's just a joy to throw him the football. For real, for real. Pickens trying to pick up a first down. He gets hit stick in the process. Second down and 11. Looking downfield. Still looking. Trying to find somebody open. We throw it, and Lowry makes the catch, and the hit sticks are just raining down. 25 seconds on the clock. Looking for Pickens out of the backfield. He makes the catch, and we're up to the one-yard line. First and goal. Chambers is in the end zone. Touchdown for the A&M. Let's go. So we would kick the ball short to try to avoid a kick return. That gives him some decent field position. Doesn't matter because we ain't going to touch Thornton. Not going to touch him at all. The Wolves are howling, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. 28-42 is the score. So Chambers, he's going to roll out, sets his feet, fires it just to have the football intercepted. We got the ball to kick off the second half, and we give the ball right to the Wolf Pack. And up that gut goes Norton. His best carry of the game goes for a touchdown. Second down and 10. Another hit stick, this time on my quarterback, and that is going to lead to a punt. So third down and five. They throw it, and Carey has reservations for a six touch. Down NC State Chambers looking, he's gonna get sacked yet again. If this defense was better, they are on a roll. Third down and 19. Chambers looking, throwing that thing, and Johnson he's gonna fall forward but not have enough for the first down. So let's run it with our best player on offense, and boy, he got his stick too. 
And we get the ball right back out to go for it on fourth down. And Norton's who is loose. Who is Norton to the crib? Touchdown, NC State. 63-28 to is the score. What can we do? We can overthrow our intended receiver for an interception. That's what we can do. It is getting ugly. It is getting freaking, freaking ugly, freaking, freaking fast. And there goes Norton. He's going to blast his way into the end zone. And it's 12. It's not 12. It's, it's something. And I know it's second down to 12. Make that first down to 10 for them. Randolph. He's going to take it to the crib. And boy, we got the snot kicked out of us. 84 to 42 is the final. I will put Lowry in that quarterback. This was on the option. And it worked out pretty well. But by then, it was too little to late. Like you said, four carries, 59 yards for him. Two touchdowns for Pickens, two for Chambers. And yeah, Richards, he led the way with five receptions for 106 yards. But they just, they're too fast. Too much speed on the outside and too much of a beastly pass rush. All right. So we could still go six and six and now make us eligible for a bowl game. But there's no guarantee that we are going to get one. But hey, that's neither here nor there. We got to handle business. This is the rivalry game. Let's get right into it. We are going to get the ball first. First down and 10 from our own 35-yard line. Going to run the ball with Pickens. Trying to get upfield, and he does. Nice carry for a game of five. Second down and five. Going to go to the air with Chambers. Looking down. Field Richards is open. Move those chains. First down and 10 with Empathon Cookman's territory. Going to run the ball with Pickens. And Pickens, he gets upfield. And the Rattlers are looking too hot to handle. And there are no other mitts on the football field. Looking down, field for part. Durfee makes the catch. Touchdown. Rattlers, 7 to 9. The darn thing is now the score. Robertson, boy, I'm going to miss you. It is senior day. Last home game of the season. He's a beast. He, he's a beast. Okay, Bradford, he gets up field, and Bradford, he's going to pick up a first down. Look at down field, and that pass will be caught, and that will be a first down. The film Cookman is on the move, but then they hit a roadblock. In, and there was some good penetration, loss of one. Second down and 11, they run it right at our defense, and we're there for the stop. So third down and four, they run it again right at us. And Bradford, the big fullback, grumbling. And I'm telling you, if you have a fullback, you need to use him. Bradford again, north and south, trying to get busy on us. It's going to pick up five. Second down and five. Henley goes nowhere. Third and six after the one-yard loss. More, their quarterback might be the best quarterback, I guess you could say, in the conference. It is independent. I don't know, but he is one of the better ones. Pickens up the gut. I mean, there's only four, and one of them is Brady Quinn, and one of them is Chambers, so maybe not. I take that back. Anyways, Johnson, he makes the catch right there, and that's going to lead to a first down. Second down and 10. Chambers throws that thing straight. Missile to Lowry. He makes the catch. Good hands like all state. And now it's going to be third and inches. Pickens weaving through traffic just a little bit for a first down. All you need is a little bit. First down and 10. Chambers rolling out. Has a man open. Paul Durfee into the end zone. And it's 14 to not a darn thing. He needs a little bit of money, mama. Okay? He just needs a little bit. Times is hard when they're a college student. We all know this, all right? Second down and eight. They go with a little end around. Justice. He's going to pick up a solid gain. Send up third down and short. So it's third and two. They're going to give it to Bradford. And they are going to pick up the first down. Second down and nine. They're going to hit us with a little end around action. Henley gets good block and makes one man miss. And then turns on the afterburners. Touchdown. And this game is far from over. 14 to seven is the score. We're going to get upfield with Sims. And Sims is going to cross the 40. Solid kick return right there. Third down and three. Going to run this option. Chambers is in the zone. So was Pickens. And I'm going to let my boy Chambers pick up the first down. Second down and four. Pickens to the outside goes absolutely nowhere. Third down and three. Going to run the option again on third down. And Chambers is the man of the hour. Picking it up with his shoulder pads. Pickens weaving through traffic. And he's loose. 15, 10, 5, goal line, and that means he's in the end zone. Touchdown, baby. And it's 21 to 7. We increase our lead back to 14. That's a good pass. Robinson is loose. Glover, I wish you could run. He's going to dive out the way. Sims is there, but he can't tackle him until it's a touchdown. And this game, again, is far from over. More is like, give me some more of that. And now 
It's a seven point ball game again. Minute 29 on the clock. Chambers throws that thing. That's going to be called by the home. That's going to be caught by the homie Paul. Move the chains again. First down for the Rattlers. Throwing it to Lowry. He makes the catch as soon as the cornerback is there. The ball in the corner got there at the same time, but Lowry with good hands makes the catch. And we have ourselves another first down. Pickens still on his feet, racing inside the 30 and dropped at the 24 yard line. Play fake. Chambers throws it. Lowry makes the catch. Breaks one tackle. Gets a good block. Runs over a man. Give him all those biceps and shoulders and triceps. Give him that pectoral muscle as well. We are in the weight room. We are hitting our calisthenics daily here at Florida A&M. And Henley's like, well, I'm on the track team. And he's darn fast. He, he really is. 28 to 21 is a score just like that. 18 seconds to work with. Our offense is so explosive. I'm like, let's go score. Let's at least get a field goal range. And we're trying to do that right there. Lewis with a good catch. Go right back to Lewis. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Nice spin move right there. Can we get a tad bit closer? Seven seconds on the clock. Chambers fires it. Lowry makes the catch. Call a timeout with one second to go. We're going to set up for a field goal. The kick is up. And the kick is good. That's all we need, baby. We are now up by 10. And that's going to do it for the first half of play. So start of the second half, this team is down by 10. But they've shown that they can be explosive. And now you got more running the football. When you have an athletic quarterback, you're going to cause some problems. Yes, passing at the quarterback position is number one. But when you can add that element of surprise by running the football, it's a good look. More looking downfield, and that pass will be caught. Not enough, not nearly, not nearly close to the first down marker. So third down and nine. Good coverage. Gillian back there, batting that thing away, and we're gonna take over. Still up by ten, and I give that thing to Fuller. Let my backups eat, and Fuller, he's gonna have himself a first down. Good carry, plus twenty on that call. Give it to him again. Makes a man miss in the hole, and he's gonna fall forward for a gain of six. We're up to around the 47. Looking for Richards. <laughs> the reflexes, though. My goodness gracious, stuck his hands up there stupid fast. And that's going to lead to a first down. First and 10. Chambers is going to keep it. He's going to pitch it. And Pickens, he makes a man miss. And we're all the way inside the 15, baby. Cooking with grease. Grandma's recipe. Fuller inside the 10. Fuller can't quite get to the first down marker, but does pick up eight. From the seven-yard line, Pickens trying to pick up the first down, and he does just like that. From the two, second and goal, let Chambers get into the end zone. My senior quarterback, you will be missed, sir. You will be missed. Can we get that recruit that I could? I desperately need that recruit. We're going to bat that football away. You got to catch that ball, Henley. You might be a better runner than receiver, but hey. Catch that football. Well, we could really use that quarterback that we are recruiting because we ain't got another quarterback on the roster worth riding home to mommy about. Lowry, he makes the catch right there. First down and 10 for the 26. We're taking some time off the clock because we're up by three possessions. Get into the end zone again. Now, still a three possession game, right? Still a three possession game. Went from 17 points to now 24 point lead. They get three touchdowns, three points. Three two-point conversions. You know what I'm saying. But all that's over with that Yahoo! Zay Hart. I said, give me that Yahoo. Give me that user interception. And we got this thing going back the other way. We'll milk the clock from there. 45 to 21 is the final. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That is what I'm talking about. So big time win. We beat our rivals. Because our rivals in this are uh, actually... Yeah, Bethune-Cookman, I believe, is our rival. Jackson State, I put in here because it's freaking Jackson State. Why wouldn't I put him in here? And, of course, I believe South Carolina. I want to say South Carolina State. The Bulldogs are our other rival. We beat them. They're not technically a part of this uh, dynasty because they did not make it to the actual FBS rosters or FBS teams. As we did get our quarterback, and we got another cornerback. So that's big for us four-star quarterback he's probably gonna be our starter potential and discipline are poor but hey we'll, we'll work with that field awareness is a arm strength is a accuracy is b that's all i need quarterback four three speed y'all know that my secondary was slow if we got some corners that can maybe transition to safety i'll put them there if the speed and the safety position is not there um but yeah like i was saying man um we lost our first game to NCANT. Like that, that hurt. NCAA, oh, if I can speak, NCANT State lost to them 
That was our first game of the season, and that sucks. What sucks even more is that we're not going to get into a bowl game. Not going to do it. We had some chances to win some games earlier. We lost to SMU when we probably should have beat them. Lost to Tulane when we probably should have beat them, even though it was on the road. But, yeah, that does suck. We do miss out on a bowl game. So, let's check out the stats. Let's check out uh, what players did around the nation. Our quarterback was the man. 327 yards passing per game. We do love to spread you out past the football. That's the identity of this team. Pickens was a man amongst boys of this whole season. Over 1,800 yards, one of the best running backs in the nation. Our receivers, Paul with 53, Richards with 50, Lowry with 50. None of them got over 1,000 yards, but it got darn close. When you got three receivers like that that could probably be number one receivers on any other team, it's a good look. It is a good look, and I believe we got most of those guys coming back, if not all those guys, coming back next year. Unless they decide to go pro, which I don't think is going to happen happen robertson he was our defense basically the whole year he did it all interceptions you see what my guys did okay we were able to make some plays we we're able to make some plays on our secondary but our secondary was plum just doo-doo cakes so number one quarterback rating goes to brady quinn second was chambers i'm not mad at that at all the most yards though we missed out by three technically four yards four more yards we had the most passing yards in the nation nowhere close to tds we only i believe what scored set 27 passing tds we did have trouble i'm not gonna lie we did have trouble getting the ball into the end zone in the red zone pickens did rush with 23 of them agent pearson with 22 pickens i believe was number one in touchdowns i believe maybe maybe no he was third behind ivy and some guy named jamal charles i don't know who that is um anyways though receivers not going to have our guys up there. Got to catch a lot more. Because we run a spread, but we also ran the ball a lot with Pickens. And then you got teams that just run a spread that's a freaking air raid spread. And if we do that, maybe one of our series will lead the country in touchdowns. Or reception, I should say. James Williams, one of my babies from uh, Jackson State. He led the league, led, led the nation, led the nation in tackles. He did big things all right so did we get a brand new contract because coach firing is on we're not going to be switching schools but the threat of getting fired is there we get a three-year contract with florida a and m yes we did not reach any of the goals have a winning season receive a bowl bid that did not happen next year that will be the goals that we have to meet Again, we did put some stiff competition on the on the schedule. I am going to do that. I am going to play some of the top teams, some of the household names and big-time conferences. I'm going to do that, but I'm also going to make sure that we're not playing above our skill level majority of the weeks. Majority of the weeks, we're going to be playing at our skill level or maybe even higher. Like the Air Force game, we should have won the Air Force game, but the turnovers and then maybe some poor decision-making on my part cost us there, and that's going to happen from time to time. I'm not perfect, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not perfect. So moving forward for everybody, for anybody who is still here listening to my voice, I am going to try to give you guys, and I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I'm going to try one season, one video, I'm going to try. If it's not feasible, it's not feasible. But I'm going to try and do it. I hope that I can because I think it will be dope. No simming, straight gameplays. And, yeah, I think it's going to be dope. I think it's going to be dope. We're going to try to do it in our next episode. We're going to have the off season and then all 12 games and hopefully a bowl game in that episode. And I think that will be straight heat. That's my opinion. You might not feel that way, but I do. Anyways, that's that. Uh, Florida, they lost to Virginia Tech. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love, hazos.